Hi guys, welcome to today's session. This is going to be the second in this series on uh, charcoal sketching, so sort of creating detailed charcoal sketches. And if you watched the first stage, you'll have seen how I got to this this point, working from um, this uh, little... Oh, just realized my... I'm a bit zoomed out with my video, so I'm just going to pull that in a little bit. <coughs> there you go. So yeah, if you watch the first stage, um, you'll have seen how I got, got to this point, um, looking for these shadow shapes within the original. The, the link to the original photos in um, the description, the YouTube description. So um, if you want access to that, um, that's how you can get it. It's just from the Met collection. You could also work from a different uh, sculpture in the Met collection. Anything really works for this, this process. Um, we're just going to be pushing on um, in terms of getting bit more information start to get I'm going to start trying to get a sense of the half tones so those parts of the the lighter forms um, that turn towards these shadows that we got in last week or last session um, and I'm going to be using same material so I've just got my paper uh, board I'm going to still be using this soft nitrum charcoal but I am going to be sharpening it so I've got a sharpening block today and then also still just using a kneadable eraser so pretty simple stripped back materials that we're using um, I want this sanding block just because I want a slightly kind of finer point on my charcoal um, this week. It doesn't have to be super sharp like it will in the, the later stages. Um, you want to be careful when you're sharpening charcoal that's this soft. This is the softest that Nitrum does. just because it does tend to be a bit prone to snapping. Um, but there you can see a, a sort of sharper point now I've got for my charcoal. Um, you also want to, like last week, hold the charcoal far back as possible. Um, we're still sketching things in, we're not really kind of laying in super heavy tones, we're just developing over the top of what we had from last week. So first thing I'm going to do is just go in and slightly darken some of the shadows, kind of push them a bit deeper. Not those shadows that I know are going to be sort of light, this, this left hand shadow is a little bit lighter, but looking at the reference, the, the shadows that don't have quite so much reflected light in them, I'm going to push them a bit darker. Sort of a tiny bit of <clears throat> work on the variations in the shadows, essentially, um, for any of you who've worked on some of my other courses. This is a slightly sketchier approach. I'm not being quite as... Um, not adhering quite as strictly to that, that rule with this one. and have a bit more fun. So just kind of elaborating a little bit some of those, those aspects that I wanted to push just a bit darker before we start working in the halftones. Let me just do one more general pass.
over these shadows. And that's not too bad, I think. And then the next thing I'm going to do, so what I'm going to spend most of my time today doing is starting to develop some of these um, half tones. So sort of down the right hand side of the, the face, those portions, um, those planes, if we think of it planarly um, of the image that start to sort of um, emerge out of the shadow and be get gradually lighter. So it's sort of, we're starting with the shadow value as our our starting point and starting to kind of roll the forms, turn the forms out of that, those shadows that we got in last week. You can see I'm doing this in a pretty general way, just blocking in large areas of tone. Um, not getting into any details just yet, always best to keep everything simple when you're first starting and only get more complex as, as you go on and you want to start to add finer details. But until we get all these kind of general values plotted in, we can't make such good decisions about um, about details until we sort of know what's going on. So you can see we're starting to now get a, a better sense of the, the forms. Now that we've got more of this, um, these half tones in, in place.
And so what I'm going to do now is go back and start reworking um, the shadow edges again, but getting into a little bit more detail even now. Um, we'll also start to do a little bit of erasing. Just sharpening my charcoal again. So I'm now going to have a look at trying to get some of these really, place some of these really dark tones. And I'm fairly happy with the um, general placement of the shapes. So I'm happy to start going a bit darker. You don't necessarily want to go super dark in a any kind of image really, a painting or a drawing. So you're pretty confident on placement of the shapes. Um, and I'm not being too strict in terms of where I where I work. So you can move quite freely between different portions of the drawing. As I say, this is not as strict as some of the other processes that I've taught in terms of how you follow. I don't have too much um, kind of liberty in terms of making corrections to mine because this paper that I'm using is a, it's a nice paper, but it's a printmaking paper that tends towards being a bit kind of fluffing quite easily. So I'm pretty stuck with anything that I do, which is fine. As I say, I want this to be a um, more of a sort of exploratory drawing. And I don't want to do kind of masses masses of corrections it's going to be a bit more of a sort of whatever whatever I put down is going to be how it ends up
So just using the arrays there. It's about the first time I've used the arrays. So you can see I'm spending a lot more time sort of adding tone rather than removing it at this stage. Um, but I'll probably use the eraser a bit more as things go on. Um, it's quite a strange nose, so you can see in the original it's basically cracked um, marble. So that's why it's not, not super conventional in terms of a nose shape. So just about there, I think, for this session, in terms of the level of detail, we're going to be doing similar sort of approach next time, just kind of gradually um, refining the stuff. We went a little bit overzealous with how dark this bit is. I'm just going to pull that back a little bit.
I just want to reshape this jawline a little bit, just about done. slightly too thick that shadow shape down the left hand side so just in preparation for next week I'm just neatening it up a little bit or altering and neatening it Yeah, so I think we'll leave it at that for this session um, and carry on with it next time. So we're not going to push way further than this just because, as I say, it's a um, it's going to be more of a kind of loose charcoal sketch, so I don't want to push it to a, a really intricate level of completion, but we've got a little bit of time next week we can kind of push it further. As I say, my paper is not going to take a ton more punishment just because of the type of paper that it is. Um, some papers are a lot easier or well more workable let's say. Um, this paper was chosen more as a kind of nice surface that we can sort of sketch on but we're not going to be kind of building loads and loads of layers on. Um, so yeah that's um, that's it for this stage and then We'll be carrying on and probably finishing, I think, um, in the next session.